Hello kids! Welcome to another episode of Fun Math Class with me, Teacher Ness. In the last episode of Fun Math Class, we talk about fraction. This time, let's talk about decimal. When we were kids, we were taught about counting numbers, and that is, or are, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. But did you know that there are numbers in between those numbers? Yes, and they call them decimal numbers. So what are decimal numbers? Decimal is a fraction whose denominator is a power of 10 and whose numerator is expressed by figures placed to the right of decimal point. Let's talk about that further in the next slides. Okay, this time let's focus on just one, as in one whole. So this is one whole, zero to one. So let us um, show an illustration that represents 1. Again, this is equivalent to 1 whole. So in fraction, that is written as 1 over 1, but in decimal, that is 1.0. But they are just the same. Fraction and decimal are just the same, but written differently. So this time, let us divide this one whole into 10 equal parts. So that's 10 equal parts. Now let us focus on just one part of that one whole. Again, just a part of a whole. So how are we going to write that in fraction and in decimal? In fraction, that is 1 over 10. And in decimal, that is 0 0.1. And how are we going to read that? For fraction and for decimal, they are almost the same. 1 tenth for fraction. And for decimal, that is 1 for two parts of a whole, it is written as 2 over 10 in fraction and 0 0.2 in decimal. It is read as 2 tenths in fraction and 2 tenths in decimal. For three parts of a whole, in fraction, that is written 3 over 10. In decimal, it is written as 0 0.3. And in fraction, it is read as 3 tenths. In decimal, 3 tenths. Can you see the difference and the similarities? So let us continue in the four parts of a whole. So that is written as 4 over 10 in decimal, that is written as 0 0.4. It is read as 4 tenths in fraction and 4 tenths in decimal. So next is 5 parts of a whole. So that is written as 5 over 10 in fraction, 0 0.5 in decimal. Read as 5 tenths in fraction and read as 5 tenths in decimal. This time, let's jump to 9 parts of a whole. So, as you can see, just the same with the uh, other parts. So, this is written as 9 over 10 in fraction. In decimal, that is 0 0.9. It is read as 9 tenths. And in decimal, that is 9 tenths. Now, let's talk about place volume. So, let's have an example. Okay, 
So the point here at the center is called the decimal point. The numbers to the left side of the decimal point are the whole numbers. While the numbers to the right side of the decimal point are called decimal numbers. In short, decimal numbers are less than 1 but greater than 0. Again, decimal numbers are less than 1 but greater than 0. So let us focus first on the numbers to the left side of the decimal point. So how are we going to read the decimal point? That is N. Again, we are going to read the decimal point N. So the first number to the left side of the decimal point is the ones place. The second one is the tens place. The third is hundreds place. The fourth is the thousands place. The fifth is the ten thousands place. And the sixth, hundred thousands place. It is followed by millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions. So these are the whole numbers. This time, let's talk about the numbers to the right side of the decimal point. Again, decimal point is read as end. The first number or the first digit to the right of the decimal point is the tenths place. The second digit is the hundredths place. The third digit is the thousandths place. The fourth is the ten thousandths place. The fifth is the hundred thousandths, followed by millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, and so on. So these are the decimal numbers. Or numbers that is less than 1 but greater than 0. Now let's talk about adding decimals and mixed decimals through ten thousands. So let us divide our topic into two. So first, let's talk about adding decimals and mixed decimals without regrouping. For example, we have 23 and 4,580 thousands plus 64 and 5,219 thousands is equal to n. So how are we going to do this? First, you need to write and arrange the numbers vertically. As you write the numbers vertically, you need to align the decimal points. Now, after aligning the decimal point, we need to add the ten thousands place first. So, meaning we need to start from the rightmost numbers or digits. So that is 0 plus 9. The answer is 9. The next part is add the This time let us add the hundreds place and that is 5 plus 2 equals 7. Now, add the tenths place. 4 plus 5, that is 9. Now, we are done adding the decimal numbers. Don't forget that we need to bring down the decimal point or place the decimal point. Now, let us add the whole numbers. Let's start from the ones place. So that is 3 plus 4 equals 7. Now 
let us add the last digit. That is 2 plus 6. That is 8. So that is the hundred, uh, the tens place. So the answer is 87 in 9,799 tens. Now let us have another example. So 123 in 4,518,000 plus 64 in 5,200 is equal to n. So to do this, we need to write and arrange the numbers vertically. And as we write the numbers vertically, we need to align the decimal points. Okay. So as you can see, the add-ins do not have the same number of digits. So we need to add zero as placeholder if needed. So in this problem, we need zero. So the same with the first example, we need to add this from the right going to the left. So that is zero plus zero is equal to zero. Eight plus zero, that is eight. Five plus two is seven. 4 plus 5 is 9. Don't forget to bring down or place the decimal point. 3 plus 4 is 7. 2 plus 6 is 8. 1 plus 0 is 1. So the answer is 187 in 9,780 ten thousands. We are done with adding decimals without regrouping. This time, let's talk about adding decimals and mixed decimals with regrouping. So let's have this example. 153 and 6,589 thousands plus 94 and 5,759 ten thousands is equal to n. Again, the first step is to write and arrange the numbers vertically and don't forget to align the decimal points. Okay, so that is... Now, the next step is of course add zero as placeholder if needed. But we can forget about that if you really know how to add decimal numbers. So let's start with the rightmost number. So that is 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. But we are not going to write 1 there. We are going to bring that up or carry that up. So that is 8, carry 1 at the top of the next digit. And that is 8. Okay, now let us add the thousands place. So that is 1 plus 8 plus 5. So what is the answer? That is 14. Again, we are not going to write 1 here. We are going to bring that up to the next digit. Is the hundreds place. Okay, now let's continue. This time let us add the uh, hundreds place. So that is 1 plus 5 plus 7. So what is your answer? The answer is 30. Again, the same procedure. Do not write here 1. You need to bring that up or carry that up to the next and that is the tenth place. So let us continue um, adding the numbers. So that is 1 plus 6 plus 5. The answer is 12. Okay, so don't forget that we need to uh, bring down the decimal point. And the same procedure or the same process, do not write here 1. We need to bring that up to the next digit. And this time, this is now the 1's place. Okay, so now let us 
add the ones place so that is one plus three plus four the answer is eight okay so this time the answer is less than 10 so we don't have to write one or carry one next is five plus nine the answer is 14 so the answer is more than 10 so same procedure we need to bring one up or carry them to the next digit and that is the hundreds place or hundreds place rather. okay so now we are at the final process so let's add the hundred space so one plus one is equal to two so the answer to this problem is 248 in 2348 ten thousands so this is what we mean by regrouping so i know that you are familiar with this word carry one carry two carry four and etc Is everything clear so far? I hope so. I think you're now ready for some activities. Let's go! Now get your notebook or answer sheets. So you're going to add the following decimal numbers. I know you can answer this in 5 minutes. Forget that you can pause the video if you need more time to answer this activity. I will re reveal the answer in 5 seconds. Here are the answers. Did you get all five items correctly? I hope so! Thank you for watching this lesson. See you next time!